This is Doug again with uh, Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and today I'm going to make a little video on how to. I'm, a customer brought me this board, which is the opening, and it's going to be a door for a pizza oven that he made out of bricks. So he wants a piece of steel cut to that shape. Well, it's 18 and a half inches by 12 and a half. Uh, you could scan that board if you have a really big scanner, but most people don't have that size scanner. So I took a picture of it with a camera. Uh, once one little warning you want the camera to be directly overhead and right in the middle and hopefully level you know with your with your frame so you won't have to level it up other because if you took the picture from two feet back here and took it that way it's going to skew your image a little bit and it's not going to make it right so I measured it and I knew it was in just to go there you uh, parallel dimension tool you get right there and go right there and bring it down and you know you've got 18.52 which is pretty much dead on but what you could do you could zoom in get it really close go up to your drawing tools click on your busier tool click that point go up click that point left click 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 now you've got a box now this box is 8.55 but we can change it and make it 18.5 by 12.5 and if your nudge factor is set pretty low then you can nudge your line around to make it fit and this isn't correct because his board kind of had a little cut out here so he, he told me uh, you know need to make that more like that so I knew that was not a problem uh, if you're doing this on a plasma cutter now you've kind of got some sharp angles and you can kind of see it here which is kind of unaccept unacceptable so then what you're going to want to do and he already told me that it doesn't have to be perfect. It's just to smother out the fire after he's through. But you could take these nodes, go up to a range where well, they're already curves because it's a measure tool, and then just critique these things. Maybe add a node right there. If you left click, you know your mouse, it'll add a node twice. Convert all these to a curve. And this isn't actually how I did mine. I actually cut this out this morning and it worked pretty well. But now you've got it to a curve and you need to get off of it. And you can go through here and, and click on that node and you can actually use your arrow keys just kind of move it down. You know, you want to move this one up a little bit. Anyway, that's one way to do it. And then you've got a file. Uh, I have the luxury of having a laser and a plasma table, so I was actually able to cut this out of cardboard uh, with these red lines, and then it fit, so I was able to take it over the plasma table and then cut it out, and I knew it worked instead of wasting some steel. So here's my drawing. But another way you can do it without using the Bezier tool is, is make you a box just draw you a box, go up and change the size to 18.5 by 12.5. Hit P for the center of the page. And now, with a word of warning, the picture, if you hit P, see how it's a little bit off because the picture is not, it's taking the center of the entire thing and my object really isn't in the center. But if you if you have your nudge factor set on real minute, like my nudge factor is set on 51 right now, you can sit on that and it would take you a lot of moves to get it over there. But that's pretty good. And then what I would do is go up to a range, convert it to curves, take this one and move it down. And he actually told me that the wood's messed up right there. Now, because you've got your object in the center of the page, 
go over to your ruler and get a, grab a line, hit P. Now that index line is in the center of the page. Take your shape tool, double click. Well, let's, some, sometimes that line will kind of get in your way. Oh, I'm not on my line. <laughs> okay, now you've got a node. Left, turn it to a curve. Left click or right click your mouse, turn it to a curve. Turn it into a curve. Now you've got curves and then you could take, and this is how I actually did mine. I think it's actually a little bit easier. And there you go. And you've got a smoother, um, smoother transition for your plasma table to cut. Anyway, and then you can save this in the computer. I'm actually doing this video. won't save it as a DXF file, but you can save it as a DXF file, go over to your plasma table and cut it out and it ought to work. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit and thank you for watching.